He's got some explaining to do. He's camera shy. Anyways. Don't you damn look. Oh, yeah, yeah. What does this adapter do, senor? That, I'll put that right in there. <laughs> no, you won't. I know you won't. Watch me. Yeah, you go ahead. I dare you. What does that adapter do? I don't suck know. Suck my Oh, that's going in. Watch me. Yeah, I don't think you will. <laughs> it's child friendly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know you won't put that in. I still don't know what that adapter does. I don't either. You shut the fuck up. Well, it does something important, but he's being a. <laughs> gotta fix that panel. <laughs> Well, we're here then today, it's the next day, and we're gonna grab the little six row corn head. He's coming with a little chopper. Uh, when we realized uh, we had everything parked, and we realized, well, too late, that this head opens up, it kind of folded over onto our picker head. It is what it is. This chopper is just as tight as the other one. Maybe tighter, I don't know, I'm gonna go look. Oh, just check. Just yeah, you're good. You're good. Oh, this one's not as tight. Alright, we got that come along a little bit to get it off of this. So that when he hooks up and picks it up, it doesn't uh, hurt it any more than it will. We're gonna hook it on though and get the hoses on to finish closing it. before we head down the road. Well, Chris stopped decided he doesn't want to put the hoses on. So he's gonna send it down the road with a come along. Look at him grin. All right, we'll get that to the shop too. And then we'll have both of them at the shop. And I think we're gonna work on this one first. So we work our crest off. Here he goes. Oh, he's in it. He's, got it. he's in it now. Anyways, Kristoff worked on the, the little chopper first because we didn't have to do corn knives on this. We have to pull the front knives the drum system out. Those, the cutter bar system. And then we put the processor, ah, the processor, which is made to crunch the corn so that crushes the kernels. Going in, it's got little wheels on the bottom, but it's heavy as hell. And he's gonna do it all by himself. Big boy. Then it comes with a little winch, hits the bottom, and pulls it up. She's tight. What the hell? Man. Twenty minutes later. I don't think they could have left any extra room. Get my flashlight. There we go. It's tight. Yeah. So these brackets. Hold the process on. Yeah. They go in somewhere here. They go in the back. And these three holes. And then three on the other side. That's so that. It is sitting on bolts and not on this chain. 
so it can't bounce around. We'll figure this out. Uh, Pivot. That's just a pain. Anyways, you might wonder why we don't put those brackets in first since they're such a pain in the ass. But uh, they slide on a rail right back here. And uh, you can't slide the processor up when the rails are already there. So you have to put the processor in and then wiggle it all together with it in. It sucks, but that's how it's made and designed. Okay. Now we just gotta put six, uh, six bolts on. Is that it, or is there some yeah, on the bottom? Yeah, that's it. Six. Six bolts. We'll lock some crap in. And, uh... Put some shields on? Yeah. That'll be done back there. And then we have a couple shields that go here to make up, because the distance is going to be changed from when this slides back on. We got the bolts all in. He's going to let it down so that it fits on the bracket now instead of this. Positioning. Oh, this side's catching. No, it's sitting. No, it's supposed to be. Oh. It's nice and flush. Yeah. We were going to put the belts on, but we looked at them and they're a little wore out. So we're going to get two new ones. We'll just put those on after once it's all back together. This is the bottle panel for the corn because it's not as doesn't need as long of a distance from the blower to the knives because the processor's taking up a couple inches so it's a different plate this one's i don't know a foot long and then the grass one over here is almost twice as long but just putting the corn one in right now a little rusty because it hasn't ran since last corn season but once a little bit of feed goes through, it'll all be gone and shiny. He is locked in this panel. Plate bracket thingy. That holds this tight. All right. He's going through greasing the processor. And then we also have these clamps right here we're gonna grease. And we're just doing that to make sure, because they sometimes plug up in these little fitting holes right here. We're gonna make sure those come out. Because those ride every time you pivot up and down on here and here. And that every time you pick it up and down, it spins. So you want that to be lubed up. Hi. Hey, sweetie. He pushed it out that little Daddy. black nub. Yeah, and that can sometimes plug it up. Chris, I record putting this together for me, but this bolt right here, there's one on this side with that U-clamp that we were greasing yesterday, and then uh, one on the other side, and those two bolts is the only thing that keeps the clamp together that holds this entire header system on. So they gotta be strong. And you can't see anything really. But, 
You got the same thing on this side. Right here, I get a light. This one's already on. It squeezes that shut, and then that'll be touching once we tighten that bolt up. But well, those two on both sides, that's all that holds this entire thing on. You just tighten this one up, and now we gotta put the main drive belts on. Normally they're all connected, but some, sometimes they break. No, it comes in two pieces. It does? Don't worry. It comes in two pieces. One hand not working. That's on, and then we just gotta release the tightener in the back. I done messed up. Yes. See, this is why you're the chopper mechanic. Yeah, man. I know. Not you. <laughs> I never said I was. But anyways, there's supposed to be a gap. There's a third one supposed to be on it. Well, if you didn't lose one, maybe that would be right. She ate it. She ate it. Oh. She was hungry. Hungry. You're connecting all the electrical right here. Quick connectors and then you connected two hydraulic hoses right there. Goes well, to the hydraulic motor. Yeah, the hydraulic motor for and then all that does is allow you to spin it in reverse for sharpening. You got these hitched up and then there's one little dinky gray one that runs from here. Yep. Yeah. And that's a very specific wire because it's the only wire on here if it ever gets a nick in it or cut. You have to buy a brand new one because we've tried uh, doing it and you cannot splice that wire back together. So you got to be very careful. Uh, uh, which connector is it? This one? one? Up here? Yep, that's the one. All right, this connector right here. It's in the middle. We got it. Too much crap moving around. Anyways, this connector right here. This is the sensitivity. That little thing. Oh my bad. That little guy. That's behind everything. You can barely see. That right there is the sensitivity detector for the metal detector. Of how fast it'll go off. And clearly ours wasn't set right on the other chopper last week. <laughs> no. But uh yeah, that's what that does. It'll tell you how fast that sucker will go off. All right, so he gets to use this nice long bar. Come on, jump on it. Flex game. And that is picking up this tightener right here. Yep. And, uh, and on the top or bottom? Oh. No, you gotta get it on the bottom. That is the bottom. The bottom. Oh, right here. There's a little hook right here. That unhooks it. Yep. And then, I'm gonna tuck this out of the way in a second. But once it turns on, it'll force it down when you turn the uh, cutting system on. Because it's always spinning back here. And the second this goes down, it'll engage the belt tension and that'll turn on. He's got her started up. He's got the knife spinning now. We're gonna try it for the first time this year. Something he's running. Oh, you need that. He forgot the BTO. Probably should have done it earlier, but we forgot to put the BTO on. They made it so tight, you actually have to make a little gap. So you got to disconnect the header a little bit, and that'll give it a little flex space. There we 
you go. There. That is a stupid design. But it is what it is. Now we can try turning this thing on. First he's going to run it in reverse. Whacking over here. Huh? What you whacking? Nothing. <laughs> Gotta fix that panel. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Get it straight? <laughs> oh, yeah. He went through and checked all the gearboxes that had gear oil in them. One here. In the back, a couple underneath, and same on the other side. A couple of them needed to be topped off. We were gonna change the oil, but it was actually really clean. And we didn't find any steel. So, those are all good. Just had to top them off. Same here. I think this main one right here, which comes down here and into the clutch pack, which is what he was working on earlier, the main clutch pack. Slipping a little, might have to uh, order a new one and change it out but for now it is actually ready to go and uh we just got to put some panels on last thing we had to do was put those panels on he was beating the crap out of that closes all this up that is the last thing for it weird god dang it all right um last thing we got to do is pull it out she's all ready to go so that'll be it for this video thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe